Hello. Um, yeah, I know I haven't really been making many videos. Um, normally around this time of the year I go into a hibernation mode. Basically I keep away from my blog, keep away from YouTube and just basically um, review the year that's been, um, see what things I achieved, and see what things I didn't achieve, um, figure out what I want to learn and do for the new year, um, set my goals and just things like that I like to do every, every year. Um, but this year I found that I didn't really want to do that, which is odd for me because I do it every single year and for me not to feel like it this year it's strange because I'm so used to doing it and now I'm sort of f trying to figure out what to do um, so yeah it's weird for me to try to make a video around this time of the year um, if that makes any sense um, but I found out that I may not be doing my hibernation mode because I'm starting my healing journey. Um, and that's horrible already. I can't stand it. Um, for about four years I haven't been able to contact my spirit guides and only my, my spirit guides. I can contact and sense other spirits but not my guides. Um, and it's, like I said, it's been the, like that for four years. Um, and no one else seems to be able to contact them. And that's the annoying thing. My partner, Charlie, can't. And someone else I asked she couldn't and she said the blockage might be on their side and not my side so that's kind of awkward um, but I'm I feel like I am starting a healing journey for myself to try and help me heal from that um, as I haven't been able to move forward in my life really from my spiritual point of view I haven't been able to move forward because of that that's the thing that's been holding me back um, and I was asking Nordens and Kalalea if they could help me in any way um, as I was really needing it I was in tears asking them I was begging them for it and they basically said you need a heal, you need to slow down, you need time out for yourself, stop jumping to mountain to mountain to mountain and stop at one mountain and just admire the view. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do, I don't know how long my this journey is going to be. Um, which is kind of annoying as well because I like to do things, I like to plan what I'm doing and I like to plan ahead so I know how long I've got to do something. So for me to do this without knowing it's kind of weird. Um, I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm kind of worried about this journey. Like I said, I like to plan things and it helps me to reduce my panic attacks. That's why I do it. So for me to be walking into something, I have no idea what's coming up. It's very um, worrying for me. Um, I just felt like I needed to come on here and talk about it um, 
it was amazing though when speaking to Nordens and Kalalea. Um, that's the first time in a very long time that I've been able to um, have a message from any of the gods that I work with. Um, and I just feel so bad because I haven't been as dedicated to them to as I wanted to this year um, or this time of the year because I do work with two gods for the autumn winter time and then for the spring summer time I work with another two gods Anya and Lu um, and I'm also figuring out at the moment that I do have a sort of um, a house god or house deity and I'm f I think that is Bridget um, she's sort of calling to me but at the same time I don't know if that's just me interested in her um, so yeah I just have to work and work on that even more um, and if that is so I have to try to find a space somewhere in the house to actually have a shrine for her um, but yeah that's really just what's been going on, why I haven't been making videos, it's, I'm just trying to work on this journey and it's a very emotional healing journey. I have spent so many hours crying and I still cry now and I don't know when that's going to stop. There's just a lot of wounds still open throughout the years that I haven't been able to speak with my guides and that's because one of them is my granddad. I never got to meet my granddad. Um, he died when my dad was only 15 so none of us ever met him and for him to come through to me it's special um, and I've been speaking with all my guides since I was little, since I was started this and I've never had any break from them so for them not to be able to contact me for any reason or just mess around with something that I'm doing it's it's hard to because I don't know if I am grieving for them or not it's it's such a strange feeling for me to actually go through that and I don't know how to feel with it because they are without being too rude to them they are already dead so it's not like they've already they've just died so I just don't know how I'm so, supposed to feel with it if that makes any sense I don't know if it did I hope I didn't sound rude <laughs> to them um, but I've just never had a break from them they've always been there I've always sensed them around um, and for me not to feel that it's just such an odd feeling and I think that's what I'm this part of the journey is try to do at the moment um, try to get over those feelings and just let them all out all four years of emotions I've kept locked up I never wanted to admit it that I couldn't contact them um, I, I've always been trying to fight for them f to be able to speak with them um, and to know that I've backed down and gave in and actually admitted that I can't anymore it's it's horrible and yeah there is going to be a lot of emotions there for me to overcome um, I'm just slightly worried about the next few months and I feel so sorry for Charlie he's putting up with me so much I keep shouting at him and getting angry with him and being all moody um, so he's definitely putting up with a lot with me at this moment and yeah 
I can't believe he's actually sticking by me through this. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, yeah. Bye.